Hey everyone, so let's talk about the series that I finally got to see. I saw the last two episodes of this series. Now let's talk about the whole entire series as a whole. We're talking about Star Wars Rebels. What is there really I need to say about this show? This show was very, very good. Very well done. I was hanging on every single freaking episode because it was very, very good. And, of course, during this whole entire video, I might actually reference Star Wars Clone Wars. Now, Star Wars Clone Wars. One thing you need to know about that one is that one, I think, lasted a few few seasons. But for me, it was like it lasted for seven seasons. It lasted forever. And most likely, it's Cartoon Network's fault. And it's kind of funny, it's like, that one lasted forever, and we don't really need that. We didn't need that for the series. That series sucked. It was just too much. Well, we have Star Wars Rebels, and after the third season, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to cancel it. We're canceling it. It's like, what the hell, man? The good one you're going to cancel, but the one that was so boring as hell, you guys are going to just allow it to continue on? It sucks. It freaking sucks. But anyway, Star Wars Rebels, or people who don't know, it basically we're following this kid named Ezra who actually turned out to be a Jedi. His parents actually died because they were part of a rebellion. Well, actually, they were taken. They were part of a rebellion, and he was just living alone for a quiet bit. And, of course, his city is Luthal, and that's... That's a city that actually got taken over by the Empire, and well, it's kind of funny how it goes full circle at the very end of the series. I know, spoilers, but very end of the series, they actually free Luthal, and Luthal, Luthal actually becomes a rebel city, actually supporting a rebellion. Pretty damn awesome. Like, pretty damn awesome. Of course, you do have Kanan, you also have... Um, you have many other people that was in there. I can't really show you all the names, but still. They had a team, and the team actually adopted Ezra. And Ezra actually came with it. Ezra actually learned how to be a Jedi. There's lots of stuff that happened in between that makes it such a good series. And it's just, it was just very well done. Heck, Darth Vader was in the freaking series. Princess Leia was in the series. Darth Maul shows up, and he's not dead. <laughs> he, uh, he got no legs, but he's not dead, and was, that was pretty damn awesome. You also have Emperor Palpatine showing up, so for people who don't know, yeah, this is actually false between Episode 3 and Episode 4. That's that's the timeline when it comes to this one. And this one was very, very generous. It was like, you know what? You know, Clone Wars? Freak it. Clone Wars is in this continuity as well. We're bringing Ahsoka back. Yeah, even Ahsoka Atano. She actually showed up in a series. Yeah, and she became a... <clears throat> excuse me. She actually became one of those white Jedis, I guess that's what it's called. Yeah, she had the white lightsabers. She had two white lightsabers. So she changed because, well, you know I have an Anakin, right? So you you can figure out what happened along the way. So that's basically what's going on here is just the fact that we got so much stuff in this series. The only messed up part, actually, it was good, but it crippled it a little bit. It's the fact that Disney decided to put it on Disney XDs and they didn't share. Shh. Yeah, I mean, they did show it on Disney like a few times and that was kind of scarce. And they didn't even do the whole thing of where it's like, oh, here's episode one. Oh, well, here's episode two. It's like, no, no, no. They gave us some episodes, but didn't show the whole entire series. And eventually they just quit and just said, nah, forget. We don't need to show you all this. Show it. Watching Disney XDs if you want to watch all of it. It's just like, man, you you guys suck. What the hell, Disney? So that's basically the whole entire series. I I can... You just gotta watch it for yourself. It's just too good to pass up. It was a very great freaking series to watch. And heck, Inquisitors showed up in the series. I think that's where... Yeah, this is where the origin of the Inquisitors showed up. So that, oh my gosh, they were a freaking thing to beat. My gosh, what the hell? They were, they were so crazy to beat. 
Yeah, but the very end. Let's just talk about the ending right quick. The very end, well, Kanan actually dies. Yeah, I know. Spoilers. But yeah, Kanan dies. That was that was a very messed up thing. But they used that to a amazing degree. And then all of a sudden, well, at the last two episodes, um, Ezra had to sacrifice himself. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so Ezra sacrificed himself. And apparently, he's still alive. And we don't even get to have the episode where they're reunited and he's still alive. So basically what's happening now is that he did hyperspace. Yeah, he did the hyperspace, hyperdrive, and he's floating in space. Basically, he's doing what freaking (laughs) Princess Leia did in The Last Jedi. So he's basically floating there using the Force and waiting for someone to actually save him. Or most likely, he actually found a planet or the fact of... Basically, the bad guy, Thawne, yeah, it's like, not Eobar Thawne, but yeah, Thawne, he actually needed to be held so he can die. Yeah, and then as soon as he got freaking they're all in the space and he can't breathe, then he most likely went into one of those freaking space pods and stayed in there, and that's where, that's where he is. He's been floating in that pod for so many years. So years passed, and well, the good news is that freaking, um... Kanan actually has a child. That's the crazy part. Yeah, Kanan has a child. So chances are that child is a Jedi as well. So who knows? Maybe Ezra will teach young. Well, his name is not Kanan, but he almost likely teach that kid how to become a Jedi. So it basically is rinse and repeat, isn't it? It's like the fun rinse and repeat. So anyways, that's about all that really. Sadly, we don't get to have that. It just ends with a mural. That's what we get. The last part is a mural of them saving Luthal. And Luthal actually is now... It went full circle, like I said. It went from being free... Actually, not being free. It was already imprisoned when we first saw it in the first episode. And the last episode, the final episode, they actually freed it. And now it actually is going to be a rebellion city. That's freaking damn awesome. So anyways, yeah, thank you for watching, folks. And screw my damn tablet because what the fuck, man? You just had to cut off and... Oh, damn, man. But anyways, yes, it's a great series. What else can I say? You need to be watching this series. Good luck finding it. But yeah, definitely watch this series. The series actually is very, very good. <clears throat> Unlike the Clone Wars, it didn't outstay its welcome. Heck, technically, it didn't stay longer, but they had to end it for some reason, and that's totally sad, but still a great series.